our luck has changed because there lies Tinio and his head is up, not like this morning, so he's awake and he's looking around and he's looking because his brother Mfumo is behind us and sitting right out in the open and there's an impala that is busy snorting at Mfumo and so that's why Tinio is looking in that direction but it looks as though maybe we're going to see a situation where these boys are going to start waking up and start moving. Are you... what's wrong? He keeps moving his whiskers as though something's just irritating his whisker area and giving him a little bit of kind of a uncomfortable experience. Maybe it's some of the flies that are going up towards the gum lines. You do find flies often doing it. They try and kind of get into those gum areas in order to sequest moisture from the mouth. Often when lions have been awake like this and they've been panting and their mouths are open, so saliva develops and you get a situation where there's a lot of moisture. So maybe that's why he's just kind of growling a little bit every now and then. I would imagine Mfumo is still sitting on the road itself because the Impala is moving away now. It's not standing upright and actually shouting anymore. Oh, look at that big yawn. Kristen, yes, the male's manes will get darker when they have more testosterone flowing as they become dominant individuals, but there is still a genetic kind of part to it. So if you look at Tinio, he's got a lot of kind of darkness around his chest and then going over his head and over the top, whereas if we go to Fumo, Tinio is going to go to where Mfumo is. He's yawning, which is generally a good sign that he's going to start waking up. Hopefully, if Tinio goes there, you'll see that Mfumo's mane is a little bit more kind of blonde in coloration. And so there is a lot of genetics involved in it. But yes, as they get older and more dominant, so there's this kind of spike in testosterone, which causes a release of melanin, the dark pigments within the head. So are you in for us? He lets out a little groan. Come on, roar for it. No, grooming time first. But maybe if we're lucky and we just spend a bit of time here, we might get a little roar from them. But what you can hear is how rough that tongue is. Now we're close enough just to hear the roughness kind of going through the coat. Isn't that cool? So you know that you are in close proximity to a male lion when you can hear that. And so basically that's acting just like a comb and he's basically just grooming through his fur making sure he's getting rid of any of those little parasites that we would have picked up. There we go. Contact call. So he's trying, I think, to contact Mfumo, and he does it because he can't see Mfumo from where he is. Mfumo's not far, but that little call first. Mm. Now it's getting a little louder. Mm. And it will get louder and louder until one of them responds, so... Mm. Shame, boy, is no one talking to you? See how he stops and listens afterwards. Now this is my favorite sound in the whole world. If these guys start to roar, it is the best sound that you can ever experience in the bush. Now these are just little contact calls, but the, the more that he doesn't get an answer, the louder it will get and the more it will go up, and eventually we should hear a full-blooded roar. He looks a bit dopey, doesn't he, when his mouth is open? <laughs> There's nothing coming out. You can't not... <laughs> so he's opening his mouth at the moment and no sound is coming out, so we need him to actually <laughs> do a bit of a better effort. But he's still yawning, so I'm sure he's going to get up and move. I don't think he's going to be down for too much longer. The problem is, is we're not far from the boundary now, so what we've got to hope is that if they are going to roar and, and that they're going to, there's going to be a response from the other brother that's with the sticks, is that they move more towards where those that brother and the sticks are, because that's more towards Cheetah Plains, so which should take them straight through Chitwa and be a lot easier for us to follow them. No, still not going to give us a full-blooded roar.
Rita, you're wondering why the skin color of the Mara lions and those here at Juma are different. Well, it's probably a genetic thing. It's an evolution process that takes place, and the colors of each sort of lion will help them. Just going to keep quiet if he's roaring. Awesome was that? That is as good as it gets. We were absolutely spoiled because he let it out and Mfumo joined in from behind us. That is just the coolest thing in the whole world. So, absolutely awesome. <laughs> and then I love how he just flop, flops down afterwards. Absolutely cool. Phoebe asking how many lines I can, th well, I think can hear him. Well, if I think about what the lines that are around us at the moment, so the six females, all three of them, their cubs, um, one of the other Birmingham males we know is close by as well, so he would have heard that. Um, probably a little bit out of range for the Inkuuma Pride, although maybe they might have picked it up. Their hearing is better than ours after all, but I think they are just a little bit out of range. And who knows what male lines are sitting just south of the boundary near Mala Mala because we're not far from there either. So I would imagine maybe one or two of those lines on that side might have heard them so in total you could be looking at maybe 30 40 lions that could have heard him if all of the prides that I've just mentioned did um, and, and potentially that's how many lions but ones that I know for sure that have heard him would be the three sticks adult females the four newest cubs and then the six other cubs that they've got so the 13 of them and 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 then obviously the fourth or third Birmingham. Right, well, while Tinio sleeps, we're going to reposition towards Mfumo, and hopefully when we kind of get there, he, they'll start to roar again. And while we do that, I believe Brent is sitting with lions as well, and I think that completes a complete lion sort of domination between all of our feeds this afternoon, which is absolutely amazing. Well, we're still sitting with the Birmingham boys and we're still having a situation where we they are roaring and so we thought we'd extend a little bit longer. Here we go. That is how you end a safari in the evenings. That is the best sound in the world. You can see it's taken it out of Mfumo. He's now decided that that's how he's going to nap. But that was absolutely spectacular. We have been so spoiled. We've been sitting here for a while and we've had, I think this is the third or fourth roar that we've had this evening. It has just been so, so special to sit in. Where we are is actually a really great place to hear roars because it just resonates down this bowl where Chitwa Dam is and it kind of bounces back at you. It is just the most unbelievable experience. We've been so, so, so fortunate to be able to sit here and witness something like that. You can see Mfumo himself. He's looking really good. He's down on the road and he's kind of just taking it very, very easy. Tinio is still at the back, still not moving. We haven't heard any response from the other Birmingham that's with the sticks down on Cheetah Plains, so I don't know if he's maybe just keeping quiet because he's with a female and he doesn't really want to attract too much attention, but I would imagine maybe it's in Suku down that side. We know Suku loves to spend a lot of time with the sticks pride, and so I wonder if it's not him in that area. There's also been a few guinea fowls alarm calling, so we might come back in this area and check around tomorrow. Maybe Hassan is around.
Unfortunately, though, that is all that we have time for this uh, this evening. It's been an absolutely lion-packed, action-packed, insane afternoon. The Masai Mara has been on fire. Sabi Sands had its own little unique little things and to finish off like this is just absolutely unbelievable so from brent jamie taylor all the cam ups outside myself and vm and rebecca in fc it's been an absolute pleasure and we'll see you on the sunrise safari tomorrow